I'm Breadman with Breadman TV. And as you know, I've been caught up in some controversial battles online and in the social media world. A lot of people know me for the infamous battle with the one and only King Face. Rest in peace to King Face. Now, it's been every bit of a year since the tragic passing of King Face. And I've been forced to reckon with some very disturbing facts. Fact number one, although the battles and debate that I had with King Face initiated as political, most of them went viral, yet it turned into something extremely sinister. And through that, and the way that he left the world, there were some very, very nasty, nasty wounds left. Because most of our battles, most of my battles with King Face were about politics, social justice, equalities, issues in the black community. I felt it only right to shoot this video on our great country steps. Now, King Face was known for having some of the most controversial against the grain views on politics and social justice. A lot of those views sent a lot of people into very uh, purple spaces. I can recall a time where King Face was banging on Eric Garner, or I Peter Eric Garner. And these were one of those times where it sent the black community into an uproar. But there was family. There was family from the Garner, there was family from the Garner, from the Garners who reached out. Who reached out to a certain a certain individual from the uh, world of the underground, let's just say that. And we'll say he goes by the name of Mo. And so through that interaction, they were able to reach King Face and let them know that, hey, you've gone, you've gone too far. So although King Face had very controversial stance, that was one time where it showed that there was, that King Face did have a heart. The reason I bring this story up because it's quite similar to what brings me to you all today. As you all know, King Face came not too long ago to very quote unquote controversial circumstances. Now, as a meteorologist, although I had many battles with King Face that started to turn extremely uh, gruesome, very below the belt, let's just say the whole kitchen cabinet was pulled out. No stone, no stone was left on turn. Some will call our, our, our battle epic. For those of y'all who have the palate, who have the palate for those type of activities. And so, even though I made promises to certain other meteorologists, i.e. Queen's Flip, I promise to pump the brakes, to let the family breathe, to let the facts, to let the facts play out. Some say it was my greed for cloud chasing. I'll be the first to tell you no. It was my passion 
my passion is the battle that took me into a very, very dark, dark place. Very dark place. Now, this dark, these, this dark place that it sent me into, I would wish upon no one who's doing this mediaologist me. I would wish upon no one who's doing this mediaologist work. Right? You see, it was, you see, it was, it was through the, it was through the hate. It was, it was, you see, it was through the hate. It was through the hate and the rage that would not allow me to put the weapons down, would you say? You see, I couldn't relinquish, and my mind couldn't fathom that the person that I was just having these epic battles with no longer ceased to exist. You know, first you had the, uh, uh, first you had the, the wave of conspiracy theories, right? Is he alive? Is he really, is he sick? Is he really not sick? Is it all a hoax, right? And then once we started to get past that, we started to see that there were funerals, there were uh, ceremonies, memorials being held. And I have to be honest, at that point, I personally, I personally, which I'm sure, which I'm sure a lot of, a lot of the fans did, I felt, I felt betrayed. I felt betrayed by my enemy, right? That he would leave, that he would leave and be no more. It's twisted, as twisted as it may seem. Then also in my mind, I felt that this is what King Face would want. I felt that King Face would want me to kick the dirt on him. But I didn't, I didn't think about the family and I didn't respect, I didn't respect my word. I didn't think about the family. I did not think about his family, his loved ones, the sea. And I did not, I did not keep my word. You see, I told Queen's Flip. You see, I told Queen's Flip that, that I would cease. Right? And instead, instead I did the exact opposite. So to Queen Slip, I do apologize. Right? So to Queen Slip, I apologize, my friend. Now also it was brought to my attention by a uh, certified, certified official uh, people in that region. We'll just leave it at that. I spoke to you uh, about one of them earlier, who goes by the name of Mo. And he informed me that beyond the street shit, beyond people being upset in this world, the man's family reached out to me. The man's family told me to let you know that that is foul, that they did not appreciate, that they were hurt, that they were devastated. And as an OG, as an OG, he felt, and many others, that the family deserved an apology. So when it comes to that point, I want people to know that I, I take what I'm doing seriously. So to, to, to King's Face family, and even to Mo, I appreciate you, I appreciate you. Even to J.O., salute to Dom. I wanna, I wanna apologize to his family. Again, without the hardcore facts, I should not have taken that story as far as I did. I have a few more interesting facts I want to bring to you before I close this out. When I was bringing myself to do this video, I have to admit it was a, it was extremely hard. It 
it's extremely hard to reach down deep and present a public apology. But while reaching down deep, I found something and I realized something about King Face. Allow me. Even though King Face is one of the most controversial people in the community, we can line him up with Candace Owens. We can line him up with Officer Tatum. We can line him up with Amorasa, right? And King Face would probably be over the top of all those people when we talk about that arena. Right, but it's not it's not just about the clout. Allow, allow me to tell my story. Before King Face, before Queen's Flip set up the battle with me and King Face, right, I would bang on very hot topics. Right? It was all about trying to expose people who's going against the black community. Yes. Very hot topic. Very hot topic ish. When Queen Slip came along, I'm sorry, when King Face came along, it made me dig down deeper and sharpen, sharpen my sword. It made me focus. It made me focus more on the message that Red Man was trying to get across. I'm gonna just keep it funky. It made me go harder on Donald Trump. And it made me entrench myself into the politics of what was going on with me and with my community. I can also attest I saw many people who you would call street people, street legends, right? Who were turning, turning their life over and changing their life around, even though they were singing a tune that I could never agree with, which had to do with the Trump hat. Even though King Face ruffled a lot of feathers, definitely mine, it's undeniable that he caused a whole culture, a whole wave in our community that caused people and inspired people to wanna get off the couch, get out the streets, and get involved, right, into the debate. Get involved in the politics, whether it was through negative motivation or positive motivation. So I'm here today. I'm here today to apologize to the family of King Face. I'm here to I'm here to apologize to the OGs of King Face. I'm here. I'm here to apologize to Queen Slip. On behalf of myself and on behalf of Red Man TV, we apologize. We know things are going to get messy in the community, but we cannot. We cannot be scared, but we cannot be too proud to do the work to clean them up. So I hope you all can learn something from this. Yes, this is Bread Man. Bread Man TV, the leader of the bread game. Not even I. Too powerful, too smart, too whatever. To bring myself down to reality and have an humble moment. So I hope you all can learn something. Yes, we can bang on each other. Yes, things are going to get nasty. But we have to find the light at the end of the tunnel. We have to find the light at the end of the tunnel. And so I have a responsibility. Right? I have a responsibility for myself and for the people that follow me to take us in a positive direction. So that's what's up. It's Bread Man with Bread Man TV. Know the damn deal. If you don't know the damn deal, ask Bread Man what's the damn deal. Holla.